In computer graphics, tessellation is used to manage data sets of polygons presenting objects in a scene and divide them into suitable structures for rendering. Especially for real-time rendering, data is tessellated into triangles, for example in OpenGL and DirectX 11. In graphics rendering, a key advantage of tessellation for real-time graphics is that it allows detail to be dynamically added and subtracted from a 3D mesh and its silhouette edges based on control parameters. In previously leading real-time techniques such as parallax mapping and bump mapping, surface details could be simulated at the pixel level, but silhouette edge detail was fundamentally limited by the quality of the original dataset. In Direct 3D 11 pipeline, the graphics primitive is the patch. The tessellator generates a triangle-based tessellation of the patch according to tessellation parameters such as the tess factor, which controls the degree of fineness of the mesh. The tessellation, along with shaders such as a fong shader, allows for producing smoother surfaces than would be generated by the original mesh. By offloading the tessellation process onto the GPU hardware, smoothing can be performed in real time. Tessellation can also be used for implementing subdivision surfaces, level of detail scaling and fine displacement mapping. OpenGL uses a similar pipeline, where tessellation into triangles is controlled by the tessellation control shader and a set of four tessellation parameters. In computer-aided design, in computer-aided design the constructed design is represented by a boundary representation topological model, where analytical 3D surfaces and curves limited to faces, edges, and vertices, constitute a continuous boundary of a 3D body. Arbitrary 3D bodies are often too complicated to analyze directly. So they are approximated with a mesh of small, easy-to-analyze pieces of 3D volumia euro usually either irregular tetrahedra, or irregular hexahedra. The mesh is used for finite element analysis. The mesh of a surface is usually generated per individual faces and edges so that original limit vertices are included into mesh. To ensure that approximation of the original surface suits the needs of further processing, three basic parameters are usually defined for the surface mesh generator, the maximum allow distance between the planar approximation polygon and the surface. This parameter ensures that mesh is similar enough to the original analytical surface. The maximum allowed size of the approximation polygon. This parameter ensures enough detail for further analysis. The maximum allowed angle between two adjacent approximation polygons. This parameter ensures that even very small humps or hollows that can have significant effect to analysis will not disappear in mesh. An algorithm generating a mesh is typically controlled by the above three and other parameters. Some types of computer analysis of a constructed design require an adaptive mesh refinement, which is a mesh made finer in regions where the analysis needs more detail. References